So we are in Charleston, South Carolina. Just left Savannah, nice short drive. Right now I'm not really feeling it, but we'll see. I mean, it's a church bells. That's par for the course so far. It's four o'clock. Parking has been interesting. It's it's a cute, charming little town, but let's, we like Savannah better. Let's go show them. We've only been uh, here for 10 minutes. But yeah, this cute, this walkway is awesome. You gotta yeah. see it. So let's so. head around town. We're gonna spend one day here in <laughs> Charleston and uh, we'll show you everything to do in one day. Charleston. I'm exhausted. Charlestown. We walked everywhere. Charlestown. Who's Charles? I have no idea. He was a king. Oh, I knew that. But I didn't know that this was named after him. Yeah, Charlestown. It's his town. Lots of money. He must have had lots of money because it's all over There's the place. There's a lot of money here. This place has inspired me to quit Called to Wander to go start a hedge fund or to study Bernie Madoff and start a, a Ponzi scheme so that we can have enough money to buy a house in Charleston. No? I don't know. I've never been money motivated <laughs> in my life, but walking around here, it was like it was rubbing off on me. I was like, I gotta make some money. I gotta have a house with 15 bedrooms and three balconies. Like, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure they had like six balconies. Okay, six balconies. <laughs> See, so we need to make some money. If you would like to donate to our Ponzi scheme, <laughs> Charleston is, uh, it's beautiful. It's in a beautiful southern city. It is. It's very pretty. It's, we did a lot of walking around, lots of old houses. It's, um, you know, it's beautiful. It just wasn't our vibe, but the good Not news... as much as Savannah. Yeah, Savannah, Savannah's our thing right now. But the good news is there's lots of good beach around here. Mm-hmm. So we're going to make tomorrow a beach day before we take off and uh, go get in the ocean. It's going to be bath day for me tomorrow, too. And you if you haven't been able to soap into the ocean, yeah, if you haven't been able to tell the same shirt I was wearing earlier and yesterday, and that's just how it is on the road. So it's bath day tomorrow. <laughs> bath in the ocean. I'm not gonna get very clean. Doesn't I'm matter. Salty. But I won't smell as bad as I'm starting to smell. <laughs> so we're gonna take you out to the beach, uh, Folly Island, Folly Beach, Folly Island. Yeah. Something I don't know. I'm Foley. Just, uh, Foley. I'm just a driver. <laughs> And then uh, also Sullivan's Island. Mm -hmm. We are talking too much. I'm exhausted. Yep. Let's get out of Charleston. Let's go camp. That's going to be the next awesome thing we're going to show you is our beautiful camp spot for the yeah. night. It's we amazing. have scoped it out. We know it exists, and it's it's rad. You're going to want to camp there. You are. And we actually we wrote the book on camping there. Literally, we wrote the book on camping there. So we will show you what it's all about. Hey, Lindsay, can you really camp at Walmart? Why, yes you can, Chris. That is the title of the blog post, which many, many people are reading and finding out that you can camp at Walmart. And we are going to show you that you can camp at Walmart. And we'll show you a little bit about how to camp at Walmart. Raise your hand if you've ever camped at Walmart. My hand's raised. Raise your hand. <laughs> Huck's never camped at Walmart. This will be his We're going to break time. Huck into camping at Walmart. He's passed out. It's so the first thing... Hey, up, up, up. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to park away from everybody else, away from all the business. Because if you've ever gone to Walmart and you had to park 72 rows away, it's no fun going in and buying your 72 pack of toilet paper. So <laughs> we're going to park nice and far away. I'm gonna let this guy wait for me. We're gonna park nice and far away in the back. We have checked both iOverlander for recent reviews and we've checked the parking lot. There's no signs that say that we are not permitted to camp here. 
I'm going to go in and buy something, which is another tip. We do support our Walmart, so if you don't like supporting Walmart, probably shouldn't rely on camping at Walmart. Um, but we do support Walmart. I got to go in and buy some locks for our, our camper. So we're going to give them some money and we're going to set up camp for the night. We're not going to bust out all kinds of lawn chairs. This is not our private beach in Baja. If you want to see our private beach in Baja, watch that video. Um, but we are going to park as well as we can. We're not going to take up 15 spots. We're probably going to take up four. Two. Reserved parking. So we are not going to park here. <laughs> we're going to go read. The only place that, that we're said read, reserved. Read the sign. Why is that there? Am I? Reserved parking code. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I don't know. So here we are. We're all set up at Walmart and uh, we're going to hunker down for the night. This is two nights in a row where we have paid zero, nothing, nada. Nada is Spanish if you're going to Baja or you followed us in Baja. We paid zilch, zero, nada to camp the last two nights. So we're ahead on our budget. If you keep track of our budget, we spent $1 in parking yesterday in Savannah. We got out of Savannah spending $1. Today we had to spend $4 for parking. And do we spend something else? No. Is that it? That was it? Yeah. Wow. We're doing really good on our budget. Oh, you got candy last night. I did. Lindsay got candy last night, so that was like 15 bucks. So all in, we're like $20 out of two days would have been $40 a day out of $80. So we're doing really well on our budget so far. If you're keeping track of that, I'll be keeping it up with our spreadsheet. Link is below in the description. Just to give you an idea of how it is possible to camp on less than $1,200 a month, plus a little bit of gas, plus whatever personal expenses you have, health insurance, auto insurance, and so forth. So anyway, we are here in Charlestown, or as I like to call it, Chucktown. <laughs> We're actually outside of Chucktown. I don't know why <laughs> Lindsay laughs about that. We're nobody, on James Island. Nobody names their kid Char Chuck, right? Nobody names their kid don't Chuck. Don't say that. You, you name your kid Charles, and then you shorten it to Chuck. So we're in Chucktown. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We're in Chucktown for one more night. And on that note, we're going to go cook our dinner and have a good night. I have my mask on because I just went to Walmart inside and I walked out and I forgot that I had my mask on. But that's not the point. The point is while I was inside, I decided I would go talk to an associate, a manager and find out if it was okay to park here overnight. Cause that's the best thing to do to confirm that it's okay. So I talked to him and guess what his name is? Charles. I wanted to get into a conversation with him and see, did your mom and dad ever think of naming you Chuck? But anyway, Charles said, um, they used to allow it and then they stopped allowing it. And now they just don't enforce people camping. So in other words, he said, you're allowed to stay, but you're not allowed to stay. So we're allowed to stay is, is basically what it comes down to. So that's the deal. It's always good to check because we might have been surprised or we might have just been jerks, but he did say people left trash in the past and that was a big part of it. So I don't know why I'm still talking this thing. So don't leave trash in the parking lot if you camp at Walmart. What? Don't dump your tanks. Oh yeah, certainly don't dump your tanks. Like that's that's a no-brainer. If, you, if you're that kind of person, I don't have kind, kind of things to say right now. Obviously, don't dump your tanks. But um, anyway, so we're good for tonight at Walmart in Chucktown. <laughs> good morning. What time is it? I have no idea. It's party time. <laughs> it's before sunrise. It's party time. We're going to go catch a sunrise. We don't do this very often. No, not at all. I can't tell you the last time I saw the sunrise. <laughs> I, yeah, no idea. Arches. <laughs> yes. A year and a half ago. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Watch the video right here. <laughs> in the words of Joe Biden, the thing, we're going to go do that thing. That thing, we're, that thing? Yes. Okay, that let's, thing. Go do, let's go do that thing. She said it.
wildlife photographer. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun's gonna rise over there. The dogs do not appreciate a good sunrise. They just like eating smelly stuff. We're at Folly Beach. It is just south of Chucktown. And uh, it's a straight drive right on out there. It literally dead ends at the pier. And then there's parking for $2 an hour. So we picked up a couple hours. We're gonna hang out here, watch the sunrise, take the dog swimming probably, and then I'm gonna get a shower. I'm pretty stoked about that. We were the only ones that had this idea. And then Lindsay made too much noise when she woke up and everybody got the idea to come out here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I feel like a whole new man. I got to use my soap. Full on shower, it was awkward, but it's done. You're clean. I'm clean. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut at this point and change, and I got two more days of no showers in me. Are you sure about that? I can go two more days. New shirt, look for it. We're in downtown Chucktown. Charleston. Downtown Chucktown. <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina. We are getting out of Char Charleston, South Carolina. We were just at Folly Beach for the sunrise. It was very nice. That was beautiful. This is this is more like an Alabama accent. Yes. Not really. I need to get my, my boy Rhett to do my South Carolina accent. <laughs> yes, he's the one that's I, got the I can't I can't Carolina accent. I can't harness my inner Rhett. <laughs> we uh so we got gas and uh, we said this is not a cheap town. So just sharing a little tip, we use Gas Guru or Gas Buddy to find gasoline prices in the area. And it was like 40 cents more expensive everywhere around us because we're in an expensive Chuck town. But stop laughing every time I say <laughs> Now I know how to make Lindsay laugh. Chuck town, Chuck town, Chuck town. Stop. <laughs> say it 10 stop. times fast, see what happens. Stop. Stop. <laughs> anyway, Gas Guru, Gas Buddy, it helps you find great gas. We're not affiliates. We just, that's a tip that we use. So we'll scout out. We know our range is about 350 miles. So I just look for what's in range and then we look for the best price. And we're about to go to Sullivan's Island, which is even more hoity-toity. So we've heard gas is prices it? are even higher. Oh. So I knew we needed to stop and get gas. And it just so happened that right downtown in Chucktown, we can get gas for two nineteen dollars for diesel. Talk more about our budget later on, but I budgeted $3 a gallon for this entire trip. And so far, so good. Yes. Yes. Let's get on to Sullivan's Island. Yeah. So, we didn't give Sullivan's Island a, a good a good run. We didn't yeah. stop. We didn't explore. We drove through. It was what it was. We did go to the fort, and we checked it out just driving by. Fort Moultrie. It looked neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also went by the aircraft carrier... Which one was that? Yorktown. Yorktown. Thank you, babe. Which I would love to have gone on, but she, it's like... She's a smarter one of the two of us. <laughs> yeah, it was out of our budget. Yeah. And out of our time frame. But it frame. looks so cool. So, one day we'll be back. If you are interested in military history, there's a lot of great history in Charleston. Chucktown, sorry. <laughs> um, the submarine, the the Hun, 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 Hunley, Huntley... You'll no, be able to look it up. I don't think it was the Huntley. Yeah, it's it's there. Oh, the submarine. Yeah. I, I was thinking the the 
And there's destroyer. a destroyer. Yep. There's all kinds of great history in Chucktown. So if you go through Chucktown and you're a historian, you're going to love it. Especially if you leave us a comment about how much you love Chucktown. Lindsay will just keep giggling right away. Chucktown, Chucktown, Chucktown. Anyway, today's a long drive day for us. We're going to, we know where we're camping tonight. Yes. And we know we're camping for free-ish. And we know that... It's a beautiful spot. We're not going to get run off. It is a beautiful spot. We are welcome there. And that is because we are camping through Harvest Hosts. Yes, we love Harvest Hosts. You've heard about it 15 million times right now. You know we're affiliates for Harvest Host because we love them so much. So you can find out more about Harvest Host and the review, the link in the description below. However, we're going to show you a real live Harvest Host. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. That's like meeting a white orangutan or something. What? Yeah, no. it's like, no, no. Well, that's right, because there's like 1,300 Harvest Host locations across the country. Yeah. Look at that. You can stay at any of them if you become a member. And you get in touch with the people, which Lindsay called earlier. They're making room for us. They've got a wedding going on this weekend. It's going to be a tight fit, but because we fit in a driveway, it's going to work out perfect. Yeah. So we're looking forward to getting Way there. To truck camper. Yep. It is, uh, where is it? It's, it's just past Jacksonville, North mm -hmm. Carolina. And uh, so we will be heading north. We've got a five-hour drive day today, which is about three hours longer than I think I wanted to make in this trip. But yeah. it yeah. is what it is. So. Let's get on with that drive and get on to our Harvest Host, this beautiful farm. And let's get these dogs sleeping again because they're way too active. Way too active. You're let's get the AC buddy. going. Let's get the AC going. We're at the farm at West Prong Acres in Newport, North Carolina. It is just outside of that place. That Moore's other place. Head City? Yeah. Is it Moore's Head? Moorhead. Moorhead. Yeah. We're in North Carolina and uh, we're on our way to the Outer Banks, but here we are at our Harvest Host and they are awesome people. Mm -hmm. We have been welcomed just as we expected because Harvest Host is amazing. The hosts are always awesome. So we are here on 14 acres. We've got our own little parking area and we're gonna go walk around and see the animals they've got and uh, take a look at the fields and what they're growing. Yeah. Yep. And our dogs <laughs> love the grass. Yeah, yeah, they're loving it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that wraps up our stay at this Harvest Host location. Sad to leave. It is a beautiful, beautiful farm. Kevin and Alicia are mm -hmm. awesome hosts, and their daughter Amy, amazing, amazing hosts, um, took us in. They've got a big wedding going on this weekend in the, the barn that they hand-built. Um, yeah, beautiful barn. Incredible. So they took us in, even though they were a little busy, and we appreciate that. Had great conversations, I think, and I'll talk for a couple hours. Um, just really, really hospitable people. Sad to leave, but we got to go, and they got other things they got going on, and the dogs are restless to go <laughs> do something. So this is this has been great, and I guess they had uh, it's a small farm. They have horses, alpacas. They have a duck pond, all sorts of animals: turkeys, chickens. We saw a potbelly pig. Just hanging out in the front yard. <laughs> just hanging out in the front yard this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So. Really cool place. Um, definitely recommend it if you're Harvest Host members. If not, obviously links in the description to follow or in the description below. 
Um, but we are going to move on. It's going to rain. We've got some rain forecast for the next couple of days. And our next stop is going to be Outer Banks. But we don't want to go sit out there in the rain. In the rain, yeah. So, so we're going to go gonna... hunker down. We've got some work to do as well. Um, I'm going to go find a place nearby. Yeah. Yep. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's go Let's find go. it.